Before we dive into the next section, I want to paint the picture of the goals of what we're going to do when we're trying to put a person at a scene of a crime. So imagine a crime scene. A crime has occurred, the person that is now murdered has a phone with them, they potentially have other electronic devices with them or near them, the body is left behind, a weapon is left behind. What can we do digitally at this point? How can we say, how did the person get to that crime scene? Who possibly did it and what data is there? What a lot of people don't think about is at that scene of the crime, not only the suspect, but also the person that was murdered, their data is constantly pinging cell towers. If there's any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth nearby, it's constantly pinging that. Additionally, depending on how the device is set up, data is going to flow from both of their phones into the cloud. So you have the person of interest and their device, but also the victim. The person leaves the scene of the crime. They leave footprints behind. So we have some real physical forensics left behind now. We have the weapon, we have the footprints. We have no idea who did this. They hop into their car and they connect to that vehicle. Whether they're using Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, it doesn't matter. They're connected to that vehicle, which means that data is now also syncing somewhere. Can you get access to that vehicle and do forensics from that? The person keeps driving, they end up at their house. If they looked up locations, if they used any applications, if they listened to music, all of this is being tracked on that mobile device. iPhone and Android, it all stands true. What others don't think about at this point is all of the data that's on that device is still constantly pinging cell tower and to the cloud. When they get to their house and they connect to their Wi-Fi, think about what we do when we go to bed at night. We plug our phones in, we connect the Wi-Fi. Most often a backup will go to Google and to Apple at that point. So now we have full backups of that device. Even if we take this person of interest out of the equation and we go back to the crime scene, the phone that is with that body, with the victim, may have information about the perpetrator or the suspect in the crime because these phones are constantly pinging out and pulling data in. So you need to understand these artifacts and that's what this next section is about to teach you. What I want for you is you to be that deeper examiner sitting behind a computer with all of the data flowing into you, the data from cell towers, from cloud, from the mobile device. That data will have vehicle information in it. It will have his home Wi-Fi in it. And ultimately, everything you're about to learn and everything you've learned so far in this course is going to make you a better examiner when you're trying to understand location artifacts and how important they are at putting a person at a scene of a crime.